Let's take a look at solving equations with two variables and graphing those equations. In order to graph equations, we need to get ordered pairs. And to do so, we're going to choose values for x, substitute them into our equation, figure out what the corresponding y would be, and that's going to give us an ordered pair which we can graph on our coordinate plane. When we choose values for x, we're going to make a little t-chart here. When we choose values for x, it's wise to keep them close to zero because those are the values that are shown on our coordinate plane. We could choose any value we want for x. We could pick 500, put it in there. That would be fine, but we're going to need a really big coordinate plane to get out to 500 for an x value. So smart to stay close to zero. Also, as you choose your x values, keep them in order because what you're going to find is that there's a pattern in the y values. Don't be like 1, negative 3, 4. Okay, just write them in order. Take four numbers in order, and you're going to see a pattern in the y values. That's a little check to see that you've done things correctly. So I'm going to choose negative 1, 0, 1, and 2 for my x values because they're nice small numbers. They'll be close to the origin on our coordinate plane. Then what we're going to do is we're going to take each of those x's and put it into our equation and figure out what the y would be that goes with it. So the first one, we'll take this negative 1, put it in for x. We have y equals 2 times negative 1 minus 1. Okay, then we're going to simplify that. y equals 2 times negative 1 is negative 2 minus 1 is negative 3. So there's our y that corresponds. Next one, 0, so we'll put in 0 for x, y equals 2 times 0 minus 1. 2 times 0 is just 0, 0 minus 1 is negative 1. Okay, we can also do these mentally if we'd like. Put in the 1 for x, 2 times 1 is 2, minus 1 is 1. And put in 2 for x, 2 times 2 is 4, minus 1 is 3. Now notice, we have a pattern in our y's. We're going up by 2 each time. Negative 3 plus 2 is negative 1. Negative 1 plus 2 is 1. Neg 1 plus 2 is 3. We should notice that pattern. That's what we get when we put our x's in order right here. Now, these are just ordered pairs. We can pull them out of the table here if we'd like. It's just the ordered pair negative 1, negative 3. This is the ordered pair 0, negative 1. This is the ordered pair 1, 1. And this is the ordered pair 2, 3. Let's go ahead and graph those. Negative 1, negative 3. That means we go back negative 1, down to negative 3. There's our first point. Then 0, negative 1. Puts us right here. Then 1, 1. It's right there. And 2, 3. Puts us right there. Then we'll take our and we will connect the dots to get our graph. So, let's come straight on through here. And there's our graph. You can draw arrows on the ends because we know that it extends forever in both directions. Now, Let's say you chose different values for x than I did. Is your graph going to look different? No. It might be placed a little bit differently, but it's still going to be the same graph. Let's take, for example, let's say we put in 4 for x. Okay, if we put in 4 for x into here, 2 times 4 is 8. 8 minus 1 is 7. So that would be 4, 7. So we go over here to 4 up to 7. This would be 7 right here. If we extended our graph like so, huh, sure enough, it's still on that line. The same is true no matter what value we choose. It's going to fall on that line no matter what value we put in here for x. Alright, the next thing we're going to take a look at here is sometimes they're going to give us an equation 
and it's not going to be solved for y, so it's not going to be real nice to put in the x. So let's first solve this equation for y. Now when we want to solve for y, that means get it by itself. If it says solve for a variable, that's saying get it by itself. To do that, well, what's hanging out with the y? There's a plus 3x here. How do I get rid of a positive 3x? I subtract 3x from both sides of my equation. Then bring down what we have left. This stuff cancels out. We get y equals, and I'm going to write it like this, negative 3x plus 2. Okay. Now it's solved for y. Now I can easily just put values in for x and get my y coming right out of there. If I put values in for x here, then I would have to solve the equation each time. It's not near as nice. All right, now let's pick some values for x. I like negative 1, 0, and 1, and 2. So we'll use those again. Again, we're going to take that value for x, put it in there, figure out what we get out. So negative 1 in for x, let's just uh, work it out over here, y equals negative 3 times negative 1 plus 2, negative 3 times negative 1, negative times a negative is a positive 3, so we get 3 plus 2, which is 5, so we have 5. Next one we put in 0 for x, 0 times negative 3 is 0, plus 2 is 2, Put in 1 for x, negative 3 times 1 is negative 3, plus 2 is negative 1. And then put in 2 for x, negative 3 times 2 is negative 6, plus 2 is negative 4. Again, notice the pattern in our y column. 5 minus 3 is 2, minus 3 is negative 1, minus 3 is negative 4. Take advantage of that pattern to check your work. Now let's go ahead and graph these ordered pairs we get out. First one, negative 1, 5. So we go back to negative 1, up to 5. There's our first point. 0, 2, our second point. Ne 1, negative 1. It's right there. And 2, negative 4. It's right there. Then we'll draw our line. Connect the dots. like so and there's our graph for that equation and remember it extends both directions forever a couple of last things we'll look at quickly if you're given an equation like this where say for example x equals 5 or y equals negative 2 what's gonna happen is if we choose values here well, x always has to be 5, so I just could fill in 5 several times. Okay, and no matter what I choose for y, x is going to be 5. So I could say this is negative 1, 0, 1. Okay, and then I'm going to take those ordered pairs and graph them. Should change colors here. We have 5, negative 1, so we go over to 5 negative 1, we have 5, 0, we have 5, 1. If we connect the dots, we see that oops, we see that it's just a vertical line going through 5 on the x-axis. So when we have something where it's just an x, x equals 5, for example, it's going to be a vertical line going through that number on that particular, on the x-axis. This one, it's going to be a similar kind of situation. Change colors again before I work it. Instead of the x this time, we have a y with a value. So y, no matter what, is going to be negative 2 then I can choose whatever values I want for x. Let's take negative 1, 0, 1. And then we're going to graph those points. So negative 1, negative 2 is right here. 0, negative 2 is right here. 1, negative 2 is right here. And we draw our line. And we find 
that it's just a horizontal line going through that point on the y-axis, the y equals negative 2. So we have that. Hopefully that's helpful in graphing equations with two variables. Remember, you can choose any values you want for x, but be smart. Keep them close to the origin so that they're easy to graph. And also keep them in order because that allows you to look for that pattern to know that you did the right thing. Simply substitute those values in for x, get your ordered pairs, graph your ordered pairs, and draw your line, and you're all set.